Behold, my friends, these are Oxalo MF500, urban skates from a French brand that have all the attributes of a good free skate. They are stiff, they are fast, and they are reliable. At least that is what other reviewers say. And Oxalo have one big advantage. While other brands sell some simple frames for the price from two to six hundred dollars, Oxalo sells the whole skates that have boots, frames and even wheels for less than one hundred. And also, if you live in a big European city, you can go to the mall nearby, easily try them and buy them, because Oxalo is a brand from Decathlon. But let's take a closer look at them. So for this small amount of money you will get a good plastic hardwood, two buckles, usually in budget skates you will find only one buckle and other will be a velcro strap, but I don't think that that is really crucial. Also we will get a good laces, I don't know if they are vexed or not, how should I check it, should I smell it or should I taste it? tastes like my stupidity. Also, we got a good liner. Simple one, but pretty soft and comfortable. And also a very crucial thing here is anti-shock or shock absorber. It helps you when you are jumping. It keeps your heels safe. It will be here in this small window. Also, we got a small slider here. It's not the long toe protector like in my power slide next, so I've already scratched a little bit the toe of my skid and I won't be able to replace it. But anyway, slider is always a good option. We got the frame, a good steel frame. It's not very lightweight, but I think that comparing it to my next skates, they are almost the same weight. So it's not very, very heavy frame. So I probably can even juggle with them. That's why you always have to wear your helmet. In that frame we got four 80 mm wheels that is made from polyurethane PU. It is a 86A hardness, a good hardness for city skating, a little bit too hard for any indoor skating, but these are city urban skates, so 86A is a pretty good wheels. And we will look how long they will keep in the same quality because you can see probably I've already changed the profile a little bit with my T-stops. Yeah, the profile is by the way a bullet profile, so it is a standard urban profile, not very pointed one. This frame has two points of mounting like in almost all the skates except for power slide trinity skates and maybe adapt with four mounting points uh, and also in the boot we have three holes for each bolt so we can move the frame to the front and to the back to adjust it a little bit to your style of skating and also this hole in the frame is rather long one so we can also adjust it laterally and you will be able to compensate some problems of, for example, pronation or supination. So here it is. I don't really see any big problems in that skates from my first visual experience. The only problem is probably this axis that have two points of unscrewing. So you have to use two Allen keys, one here and one there. In other modern skates there are usually only one point of unscrewing and the thread is already inside the frame and also this hole here hole for key is pretty small not very deep so 
if that means that if you will damage it and if you have such a clumsy hands like I do, you will definitely damage it. It will be very difficult for you to unscrew the wheels. Other from that, I must probably say that this plastic on a buckle doesn't seem very reliable, but we will take a look how it will be looking in a half a year. I will return with the review of this kit's half a year later and we will discuss all the points of disagreement in that review. But now that's all for the first initial look at that skates and let's check them in action. The first thing that I felt when I put on my Axelos is that they are high. I definitely felt myself higher than on my Powerslide Next 3x110 and that is strange because although Nexts have a Trinity mounting that is of course lower, 110mm wheels are anyway higher than 80mm. Even the distance between an axle and the bottom of a boot is bigger in power slides, so there is some paradox of the inception here. If you are good in physics and geometry, please give your explanation in comments, I still don't know why it is so. But that is just the feeling, it doesn't influence my skating a lot and I got used to it after a few initial strides. The second, I feel myself comfortable and well fixed, no pressure points or something like that. That means that Oxalo has a good size chart that corresponds to the shoe sizes. My shoe size is the same as I took for the skates. But it also made me feel that I took the wrong size, because I am used to the fact that good hard boots should be uncomfortable at the beginning. There always should be some time for breaking skates in. Cool skaters should suffer, there is no real power without suffering. Probably after some time these oxalos will become loose, we will check it, but so far, after almost a month, they are good. Four wheels, four points of contact give me a good stability. Rather short frame give me a good maneuverability that I can get in 3x110 only after some wearing of the wheels and hence getting some natural rockering. Yes, as in any other 4x80s, you will need more initial strides to get to the higher speed. The momentum of the big wheels of course gives some advantages. There is no that huge roll feeling when you can push one time and roll forever. But instead of that, I feel myself very stable on them, on both feet, on one foot. They won't roll out from underneath me without my desire. After big wheels, it's like to put on a sneakers after ice skates. I'm exaggerating, of course, but you will understand me. On the bad surface, on the ground or on a grass, big wheels are better. But Oxella handle most of the city surfaces pretty good. I feel myself confident on any asphalt and on tiles also. And seems like I don't have the pronation problem with them. That is a very good thing. Jumps are ok. Backwards is ok. And steroids are more controllable on them because of the smaller gaps between the wheels. So yes, so far I'm very pleased with these skates. And I can confirm all that I've said in the beginning. They are stiff, they are fast and they are reliable. And come on, a pair of skates cost like one wizardish frame. That's amazing. I don't really understand why do they cost so much. There's a simple pieces of a metal with the holes in them. 
So Axelos MF500 is great skates for small price. It's now officially confirmed by me. That's all for today. Hit the subscribe button if you are not yet subscribed. Click the like button. Share that video with your friends, colleagues and parents. See you next time. I've got an itch I can't scratch, I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me, an open wound scar to see. Everybody come here, gather round, welcome to the freak show, the best in town. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't get along with anybody, honestly. I've been living in my own head constantly, thoughts jumbled round, think I need a new lobotomy, wait! I mean, this is a spoon. It also metal, it has a very ergonomic, beautiful form, and it has been very innovative at its time. But it didn't cost... 300 bucks. I wish I had one of these frames.